in terms of the the fiber lab uh i mean i so love it because as you said we we all know what we love to do and we continue to do that but in addition we are learning uh other things and the opportunity to share it with like-minded people you know kindred spirits who are also enjoying the exact same thing and sharing it um i mean you can't you can't beat that formula you really can't <laughs> it's so fascinating to um and interesting to see um what grabs each of us like you could be doing something on felting i would enjoy learning it i would experiment it i would talk about it but maybe i wouldn't take off with it right. and yet somebody else in fiber lab it would really speak to them and really grab them and they come back in a few weeks with something they've experimented with and played with and it's it's wonderful and the same with the rice balls or weaving anything you just never know when something is going to hit that responsive cord i found out about fiber lab when i saw you at the um when i visited the Society of Arts and Crafts, and you were the resident in there. And I was interested immediately because I had just finished school and had no more like structured things to do, no more structured thing. And that kept me artistic as school, and I had to find my own way after school. I was very excited because that's exactly what I wanted. It was a social group of people that were working together and looking and uh, learning new techniques and talking while doing it and it was super fun and it was um it was just uh i just loved it because i was definitely learning things i would never have found out on my own it was it was pretty much the first day of fiber lab we just all kind of really clicked in uh how we we're working in our sense of humor and our, the jokes that we had ran from every from week to week, like our um, band name jokes, <laughs> and uh, and we just started having lunch beforehand, and it was like I looked forward every week to to coming to see you and to see everybody and sit at the table and and have a nice night of working and talking and having fun. It it became fun because not everybody that I know wants to get together to go see wool at a at a um at a fair or something but i could count on like stacy and cindy to to come with me to to go to that on a sunday afternoon so oh, <laughs> so that's great and they're more kindred spirits i'd say in, in the fiber lab groups and we're all having a good time but also being very serious about what we're doing i love the sharing part i love hearing what people are doing i really love hearing what people are struggling with. Uh, we all have some of the same comments that I think, oh, you know, that's the way I've been feeling and I'm glad you're feeling it too. I think the other thing I've learned is there are some things that we've done in Fiber Lab that I didn't really love doing. Right. You know, I tried those race ball things and I thought, Ugh. but you know, I don't have to do them. No. And, um, and that, that little basket with the toilet paper roll, I was I struggled with that and I kind of hated it and then I came home and started it again and as you know I made three or four of them so I think it lets me evolve at my own pace and and not do things I don't want to do and then I feel as though you're pushing me in a nice way to to go ahead on what I I seem to like doing mm -hmm. um so that's been really helpful So, so Fiber Lab is um, even better than I imagined it. I thought it would just be a kind of one-stop way to learn a lot of different fiber techniques, and it is. It continues to be, um, but it also is really about um, staying um, open and alive in my art practice, and being willing to take risks. Uh, and actually learning to kind of enjoy 
taking risks um, in, in the things that I try. And uh, I just really treasure your support and your, you know, prodding to push it a little further. And also about this eco, eco printing, which I'm so uh, enchanted with right now, I bought the book, Eco Printing, uh, a long time ago. And I loved the images that were in there and I read the book and I put it away. I thought, this is too complicated. And you're supposed to take notes and keep a record and no way. Um, and then you taught us eco printing in Fiber Lab and it wasn't a production. It wasn't, we didn't take any notes. It wasn't complicated. It wasn't smelly. There weren't any dangerous chemicals. Um, that's when I fell in love with the process um, because I saw the magic in it and it didn't seem scary or intimidating. And I wouldn't have ever tried it without you um, because, you know, you do all the hard, initial hard work, right? You study up, you learn how to do it, you get whatever supplies and equipment um, that we're going to need and just kind of, you know, hand it to us on this really tempting plate. <laughs> There's a way in which I, <laughs> I got conditioned into something very um, precise, you know, all the, this, the, all the lines matching up and everything, no raw edges. And, and when I saw what some of the people in Fiber Lab were doing, I, uh, it reminded me, it's a kind of wabi-sabi thing to me. Like sometimes you look at an old door or something and you think, God, that's so beautiful because of the way the rust and the paint are peeling and, you know, all this stuff is happening on the texture of it. And then you think, God, that really needs painting. And you kind of waffle between. <laughs> and that's how I feel about raw edges and some of the things that people were bringing to Fiber Lab. But I thought, Oh, like it, it just turned a light on for me about what's possible and what's, I don't know, it made me more uh, playful about my own stuff and, and take some, and take my own aesthetic more seriously as well. Yeah. So to me, that's the gift of Fiber Lab is it, it lets you be, well, just by seeing what other people are doing, it opens up, you know, some of your, uh, your, your, the intrigue you might have about some things that you wouldn't have thought about otherwise. I didn't. First time, my first recollection of you, I think that would be the starting point, the genesis of, you know, of my journey with Fiber Lab was a talk that you gave at the Elliott School about sculptural crochet. I saw this, your class, I thought, hmm, this is really something interesting. And so I took the class at the, at the Elliott School, and I think that was the beginning. For me, as I said in my piece, this has allowed me to, or in my statement, allowed me to find a way to, and it is very, uh, find a way to share my vision and speak my voice beyond the structure of how I would, like my everyday creative outlets. And um, it's like struggling, as I've said before, to find the time to do some of these other things um, without, uh, you know, the beauty of being kn of knitting or any of those things I do is that I can do it at any time. But sometimes these other things require some concentrated time, like the felted wood pieces, and how to find that time to really give it the focus that it so rightfully deserves. Just like the idea of having a chance to experiment and to talk to other fiber artists, because I'm not always on my own, very experimental. So sometimes, yeah, you know, new techniques. If it's like, if I don't feel like, oh, I don't really understand, I might not do it. You know, things like when we did the um, stencil printing, I mean, that sent me off on a whole new, and the rust dyeing, I mean, I had been doing a little bit of that, but then that sent me off down a whole other, <laughs> another alleyway. So, um, so yeah. I love the sharing.
because I like seeing what people are doing. And I just love the experimentation of just trying things. And I like it because, you know, when the sharing too is like hearing what other people have to say about my work, you know, or, you know, suggestions or ideas, because, you know, I do, because sometimes it's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I never would have thought of that. Well, what I've loved is I've loved not always being the teacher and having a evening that is for me and for my creative process. Um, I love making work around other people. And then I loved the bonds that formed with those other people over the time that we were together. I mean, even us meeting early to have a burger across the street before coming to class. And then knowing that in class, um, we can all still get to know each other more, but we do that while our hands are working. And that's a really important thing. We found people that have like the same interests that want to go and find the wool that's hand dyed from the sheep. I mean, there's not everybody that, um, <laughs> that has that same interest. So it's really wonderful to find like-minded people. And, um, and we're happy to bring it back to you. We're also happy if you join us. <laughs> An unbelievable gift, a community of women, all very different, but exceptional. It's so nice to be with people who are also threading a needle and just slowly stitching and understand what slow stitching, you know, can bring you or just how much happiness you can get, I think, from sewing. And also just how, we're, how we all use our art to get through it and how important that is. And just, um, you know, if someone said, like you say, I'm coiling my day away, I just know what that means, you know? <laughs> and it's such a valid pursuit. It's just so wonderful. I love people talking about each other's work. You know, I really do. And I, it's always so insightful. And I just, I, I love the respect people have when they are talking about other people's work. I don't know, connected. How connected they are to um, how important it is. You know, or just connected to the sense of the journey you've been on or what you've been trying to do. For me, it was a really big leap to go to Fiber Lab because I felt like everybody was like this really established artist and like very professional. And like, I felt like this little, like newly hatched <laughs> little chick. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've only done this for a little while, but it's such a welcoming group. Like, and I love the, the, the freedom of it. Like you guys are all just like, let's try some stuff, you know, like it's not, it's not restrictive. Like it's all about adventure. Um, it, the, the beauty of the fiber lab is that you can have a zillion ideas and take it in a million different directions and just try stuff and see what happens. So it's very encouraging. Everybody has, you know, their own thing that they do with lots of different cool, funky ideas, you know, but then to come together with one, you know, one activity that we're all doing and see, like you said, and see how it sort of comes out through each, every person's mind, you know? And, you know, everyone's just like really fun and funny and so kind. Um, I feel, you know, it's really nice being connected to a group of, of people. Um, I love sitting around the table and just like hearing what everyone's working on and, you know, being passionate about creating. <laughs>